I'm Two Turtle Tom. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a big day because we're getting ready to ship a bunch of baby Western Hinchback tortoises to Florida to my friend Jay Frewer so that he can find new homes for them. So I'm going to show you how I safely ship reptiles and I'm going to ask you, what do you think about this process? Not everybody is a big fan. I like to use long stem sphagnum moss to serve as cushioning for the tortoises. I soak it in a bit of water and it's just great. But now I've got to get these containers ready for the tortoises to go in. I need to drill a few holes for air. Now it's time to see how many tortoises will actually fit. I need to send Jay 10 tortoises. So let's just see how they fit. It looks like I'm only gonna be able to fit three in these containers. So you know what? That really is not gonna work out how I planned it. I'm gonna have to come up with some alternative plans here. But man, those tortoises are stinking cute. But about this time, I realize uh, this is not going to work. So what else might I have? Yeah, that's only going to take one tortoise. So yeah, not good. So I looked around and you know what? I found these Chinese food containers and guess what? That lid doesn't fit perfectly, but if I use rubber bands, it'll fit. So let's see if this will work. Let's see if more turtles fit in there. And my only concern now at this point is, do they fit? Is that container deep enough so that their shells aren't bumping up against the top? And as you can see, arranging these little guys and having them sit down without moving is kind of a pain in the butt. But you know what? It works. They're small enough that they fit in here. A few rubber bands. I think this is going to work. And I could probably even put one more tortoise in this container. So I think I have a solution. Now I just need to make sure those containers will all fit in the box that I have scoped out. So let's try that. One looks good, two looks good. And is there space for the Hoviana that I have? Yep, that will go in the third container and that's how they'll make their way to Florida. This is gonna work, thank goodness. Now, let me just say, this is why we do this the day before we're going to ship the animals. You don't want to be doing this the night you're gonna ship. You wanna make sure everything fits in nice and comfortably before you're actually shipping. Let's go back to these little tortoises themselves. These are the Western Hinchback tortoise. They're my favorite species. I've been keeping them for 23 years and longer. I mean, this is just such a cool species. And then I also have one little homiana. So these are all gonna go find new homes. And if you're interested in them, go to turtlesandtortoises.com. They're up right now. You'll be able to get one of these super duper awesome, cute, amazing little tortoises. And I'm giving them a nice long soak. I want them to go to the bathroom as much as they can so that they're not doing that when I ship them. So we'll soak tonight, we'll soak tomorrow, and then we'll send them on their way. So let's take a look at the sphagnum moss. In order to use that, I need to get it wet. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dump it out into this bowl, get it damp, wring out the water, and then save that for tomorrow. Back to the soaking tortoises, and look at that, mission accomplished. That is some nasty, gross water. 
get them all cleaned up. Man, they're so cute. I wish I could keep them, but it's just not realistic. You can have one of these. It's time to ship some turtles. It's the next day and I don't have much time to get everything ready, boxed up and shipped. I have to make it to the UPS store by 6.30. So let's get this going. I'm gonna add a little of the damp sphagnum. This is just a great packing material. I really love it. And, you know, having some water in there helps prevent dehydration and it helps moderate temperature too. So we've got this ready. Now I'm gonna try to add some turtles, but as you will see, it turns out to be quite difficult to add these turtles to these little containers and not have them get out. I just couldn't film it all, but I put all the turtles in those plastic containers and then you put some paper in there to fill up the gaps and then I'm off. I have to make it to UPS by 6.30 and I'm close to there, but you know, um, I had to book and you know, I finally made it. Um, I don't usually ship UPS, but Jay likes to ship UPS and I got there at 6.15. And from this point, all you really have to do is walk into the building and that's what it looks like. It's not quite as cool as the FedEx, but you know, 10 minutes to spare. They'll fly to Florida overnight and get there tomorrow. And there we are. Last thing you said, we'll get it to you tomorrow morning. So if you want a little baby hingeback tortoise, go to turtlesandtortoises.com, find those hingebacks and enjoy. Thanks for watching for the turtles.